How's it going everybody? Today we're going to be checking out a brand new disc and that is the Discmania Evolution Splice. Uh, you guys have maybe already heard about it. Eagle has been throwing it a lot and I believe there's already been a few releases within the Triumph series. So some of you may already have this disc. It's supposed to be an overstable fairway driver. It comes in the neoplastic, so kind of the same plastic that most of the Evolution molds come in. You know, it's got a fairly flat top and medium-sized rim. I'd say it's a little wider than a PD, but obviously not as wide as like a DD3 or a PD2. Today we're going to be probably comparing this up against a Glow FD3, since that's kind of the overstable fairway driver disc that a lot of disc maniacs including myself are using and you know we're just going to compare and contrast contrast the two to see um, are is there a lot of similarities are they drastically different is somebody going to want to bag both of them one of them you know so without further ado let's get out in the field and check out how this thing flies And there you guys have it. That is the Discmania Splice. As you saw, it was you know fairly similar to the Glow FD3. It was ending up a bit shorter when I was throwing them on the same angle at the same power. So you know I'd say that the Splice definitely has less glide than the FD3, and it might be a touch more overstable. It's not going to go in my bag right away. I'm pretty happy with my Glow FD3 from now. But if I had to, you know, if I lost a couple FD3s or couldn't find any more, I wouldn't hesitate to put the splice in the bag just because, you know, it's fairly similar to the Glow FD3. I believe that the splices will be coming out later this year in a few months, I believe. So keep an eye out for those on the Dismania website or at your local retailer. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Comment down below, let me know what molds you're excited to see Discmania start manufacturing in their own facility in the brand new plastic. I know personally, 
I'm hoping for an MD4 as that was one of my favorite mid ranges to throw. So I'm hoping that it's going to be a mold that they manufacture themselves and I'm looking forward to it. That wraps up this video and I'll see you guys on the next one.